Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be learning how to take accurate measurement for a good trust of it. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. The measurement now, I'll go ahead to take a waist circumference, a hip circumference, around knee measurement, around thigh measurement, and around ankle measurement. So, by so doing, uh, you ask your client which area they want the trouser to sit. Is it the high waist or the normal waist or the low waist? Whichever part your client wants the trouser to sit. That is where you're going to tie your rope around so as to indicate the waist area or the beginning point of your trouser. So you can see this pink rope that I've tied around where she wants a trouser to sit. So that is the part I will go ahead to take as a waist circumference. So I'll take the waist circumference like this. So after taking the waist circumference, make sure it's very firm. Make sure it's very firm. So the next thing I'll do is to take the hip circumference. After taking the hip circumference, I'll go ahead to take the round tie. Now for the round tie, you need to use the fullest part of the person's lap, the fullest part. So I'll go ahead to take the round tie like this. So remember, we are after getting a perfect fit for our trouser. So I'll also go ahead to the knee area. You tell your client to push the leg forward, the knee forward a little bit, and then you take that measurement, what you have there. The, the reason why is because so there can be easy movement around that area. So now I'll go ahead to take the round knee measurement. I'll go ahead to take the round knee measurement. So after doing that, the next thing I'll be doing is to take the waist to hip measurement, the waist to hip measurement, the waist to knee measurement, her knee, then the waist to her trouser length, where she wants the length of the trouser to be. So the next thing I'll be taking is the crotch level. Now there are several ways by which you can determine your crotch level. As in the most used is either you calculate for it by dividing your um, hip measurements by four. Now, if you're going to be using the normal waist, that's your lower waist, you'll be dividing your hip measurement by four. But whereby you're going to be, be making your trouser high waist, our advice you do hip divided by three. So, or you tell your client to sit on a flat surface, any flat surface, then you take your, measure, your measuring tape from that part where you tied that rope to the flat surface. And that is the end of the tutorial. Please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop in the comment section and I will attend to all questions. See you in our next video.